Okay, let's try that again. The first time, cut me off. It happens. I get cut off a lot. I didn't get cut off last night though, which was really awesome. I went and did comedy last night, you guys, and guess what? I won a $25 bar tab again. <laughs> I'm sure that the other comics are gonna want that to happen more often because I don't drink anymore. So that means that they get drunk on my behalf. They get drunk all because you fucked your life up enough to get sober. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like my sobriety pays for Yeah. Awesome intoxication of others. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, I, I, I didn't want to do comedy. I mean, I did, but I didn't. A lot of times, like, I know that it, it's like what I'm supposed to do, but it's really hard for me to do it. Like, it's just hard for me to, like, go out there. Jesus Christ, you almost hit me, you piece of shit truck. Scary. So this is like the fear that I had, like, when I was driving on the interstate. I figured out that's one of the reasons I don't want to go to Nashville, is because I had to drive on the interstate to get there, and so it's just me, like, feeling like I'm going to have a panic attack for, like, 45 minutes on the freeway. You know, just like thinking that like all these like semi trucks are going to like sideswipe me and like pretty much every time I get on the interstate, I'm always thinking this exact thought. Well, tonight's the night that I'm going to fucking die, you know, like and that's that's not like a good feeling to have for like 45 minutes straight. So. God, it's still fucking hot. It's like the middle of October and it's still hot. Um, what was I saying? The interstate. You don't like driving. Yeah, but I had to text like three different comics. Because I, I thought like if, if, if I have other people telling me that I should do it, then I feel like I'm more likely to do it. I ended up hanging out with some some chicks. Hang out with some chicks. One of those chicks has a dick. And she's a, a transgender. Whatever that means. I, I guess it means like like yeah. She she still has the parts of a boy. She has the boy parts, but she dresses like a girl. I, I mean, the thing is, though, like, she just acts like me. Like, she's a dude who feels like she should have been a girl, and, like, I'm a girl who feels like she should have been a dude. Like, we get along so well. And, like, she got really drunk last night, and I guess it made her uncomfortable around me. Because they both have a crush on me. I think that everybody that like gets to know me like they have a bit of a crush on me because I'm I feel like it's just because I'm unattainable like I'm so like off in my own little world and like what I'm able to make of myself and create out of that little world is like pretty awesome and so I feel like people want a part of that I really want to give it to them, but it's just so hard for me to, like, let people in. 
but I think that they figured out that the magic, the magic uh, key is uh, marijuana. Oh, y'all didn't hear that part, but it was glorious. It was like a little poof, like, <gasps> little poof up my asshole. Dude, but I was totally on last night, though. It was really cool. I had like a nine minute set. You only get five minutes of Tin Dog, but the thing is, it was such a short list that Micah told us that we could just talk and just fuck around or whatever that's that's what's cool about those open mics where it's just not uh <coughs> y'all like that do you like me sneezing don't bless me it's impossible um <laughs> so uh yeah I, I like that mic because it, it's it's a lot more like homey, you know, like it's like you just feel comfortable there, like it's just people just talking. It's not like an AA meeting. Always like at a bar and everybody's drinking. So it might be like the the uh, the prelude to an AA meeting. <laughs> Speaking of an AA meeting, I just realized that I left my coffee at the fucking house. You dumb piece of shit. I know! No, here's the thing. You already drank some coffee, and you probably shouldn't drink anymore anyway, so it's probably a blessing that you did that. It's your turn. Go. Fucking go. Jesus Christ. And don't you even think about going. Don't you even think about it. Uh, <laughs> you guys always know when I'm about to turn. Like, you know, like, when I'm in the intersection just because of how, like, defensive I start getting. It's hilarious. That was really cool. The bitch that was in in the same intersection um, that I was like getting defensive with, um, but she didn't know it because she she's not in this car. Um, <laughs> I saw her like dancing. So it just makes me happy. Do you guys ever see that? Like you witness a moment and you're like, I don't think that this person saw me witness this, but I'm really glad that I was part of it and I'll remember it forever. And they probably won't. That's what's crazy about it. You know, like, that bitch is never going to remember that one time that she was in the intersection and started dancing in her car with her kids, you know? But I remember that because I saw it. And, uh, it was magical for me. <laughs> it's cool when you can, like, be in somebody else's moment. Like, you can see that other people have those moments, you know? <laughs> We're getting deep and profound right now, y'all. Deep and profound. Like I don't want I don't want to fuck you, Vortex. I want to make love to you. <laughs> I want to make sweet, passionate love to you. Okay, I gotta I gotta hold up. There's like so much going on at this particular stop sign. Oh there's a doggy. There's a doggy. Just want to peek its little head outside the window. Said I love the fresh air. <laughs> I love it so much. I love being a dog. I love being a dog too. I'm so jealous. Like any time that I see a dog, like sticking its head out of a window, like you know. It's usually not the window of a house, it's usually the window of a car. Um. <laughs> so that's just like a funny mental picture right there. Just... <laughs> it's Anyway, um, and that just makes me jealous though. I always want to be a dog. I think it'd be really cool to be a dog. Um, my, uh, my friends, I can call them my friends now because I hung out and smoked weed with them and talked about deep shit. We mainly just gossip. Uh, <laughs> that's the best. It's funny because it's like two chicks 
looks like a chick, and then it's a, 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 a dude that really wants to be a chick, and uh, and they both act like gay men, like they act like an old gay couple. I don't know if y'all have had the pleasure of like spending time with like old gay couples, like total fags, like really flamboyant. Well, they don't have to be flamboyant. They're they're just adorable. Like they're flamboyant in their love. Like it's it's so cute. Like those are my favorite people in the whole world. I love you guys. Shout out to Dawn, Mess in the Dress, and uh, her tranny girl Calypso, i.e. Callie. Um, and their cat. Their awesome cat. Uh, I love I love cats that like just crawl on you. Like this cat was like on my shoulders, just like being crazy, I guess. Like I love the fucking cats, man. They're just so awesome. <sighs> Yeah, I did extremely well last night. I did so well that, like, they had to give me the $25 Friday. Like, that wasn't an option not to, I guess. Like, Micah was going to split it and, like, give it to, like, everybody. And then his girl, Nikki, shout out. I remembered your name this time. Uh, she was like, there's somebody that deserves it more than anyone else here. And we all know, and they should be recognized. <laughs> Cool. She's really funny too. She and Micah both crack me up. They talk about stuff that I can just relate to, you know, and the way they talk about it's very real. It's very genuine. It's just like, here it is, you know? I'm a person. You know? And I feel like too many people they they try to do comedy like they're trying to be something else. I'm like, dude, just just be a human. I know it's hard, but we can do it. Do it together. So I guess I gotta go to work. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.